All right, uh, this is a review. This was sent into the channel by Banggood. Um, it is a Mob, Mob, Mob IR Air. Um, so it's a, um, an IR camera, okay? So it's a thermal camera. And it's, this one's meant to plug into an iPhone. You also have another version that's meant to plug into an Android, so you can get either one. Um, now, it reminds me of a product that was quite old now. Um, there's a company called Fleur, and Fleur is one of the first and, and, and foremost companies these days um, of IR imaging. And one of Fleur's first project, uh, pro, uh, projects and, and uh, products was, a, uh, was one of these. It was exactly the same thing. You plugged it into an iPhone, and it, it gave, you, uh, gave you an IR. Now, I've already had the box open here. So, uh, it comes in a cute little uh, carrying case and you uh, pop it open and there is the camera um, so it has a you know germanium lens I think probably and uh, so you need to have uh, material that's transparent to a long wavelength so this operates around you know 8 to 10 uh, nanometers and um, 10 nanometers is kind of the, the heat of, the, of a hand and stuff like that. So you need something transparent to those wavelengths. So um, silicon and, and, uh, uh, and other semiconductors are actually transparent out there. So, um, but you know, that's it. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. Now, um, the problem with it is, um, at least for me, maybe not for you, is my iPhone has a carrying case and I can't plug it in with the carrying case on it. it, it needs to go farther in. So I actually have to, uh, I actually have to remove the phone from the from the case. So I mean, I haven't done this for a year, right? I haven't taken it out of the case for a year. So now I feel like it's it's like, oh, I I don't want to be playing with this because I might break my phone. But uh, we will we will plug it in. All right, so uh, it automatically ran the app, and yeah, there we go. Uh, you can see my hand. You can see my hand under there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Now the cool thing about it is, watch this. I'm going to leave my hand on the desk here. So the desk is pretty cold. I'm going to leave my hand on the desk, and then I'm going to take my hand away, and boom, and there's my fingerprint on the uh, on the desk. So, so these things are really, really fun to play with. Now. Uh, I've had thermal cameras before, but never of a resolution good enough. Um, and uh, so this one has good resolution. Let, let me, I don't want to misquote it, so let me, let me look it up. All right, it came with a little bitty booklet here, and the resolution is 120 by 90. So that's quite good. Uh, pixel size is 17 microns. Um, field of view, 50 degrees. Um, this one's for the iOS. Uh, the measurement temperature range is minus 20 to plus 120 degrees Celsius. Normal working temperature is 0 to 35. That's for the machine. Um, and then uh, there's some QR codes. So if you have a uh, uh, Android, you scan that one. If you have an iPhone, you scan that one and it gives you, it sends you to the App Store. And uh, yeah, you're up and running. So it does have different modes. So you can uh, store pictures. Um, let's see here. Let's go back. Uh, actually, it's meant to hold this way with all this app stuff. You can set it up for uh, uh, black is hot. That's kind of like the, uh, uh, you know, Air Force looking at, 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 at UFOs and stuff, they, the hottest thing is always black, okay? You can also set up so the hottest thing is, uh, is white, and then there's a bunch of false colors. Um, I like the, I like this, not this one, I like hot iron, I think. Yeah, hot iron is the hottest thing is red and the coldest thing is blue. Just gives you a rainbow of, uh, a r rainbow of things. So, yeah, you can still see my uh, leftover, uh, heat there on the uh, on the desk I'll just put my finger little fingertip there yes yeah, so <laughs> and it automatically scales to it too right it uh, auto scales to whatever temperatures there but yeah you can still see my fingerprint there on the wood <laughs> on the wood uh, wood desk here so yes yeah, they're super fun so I thought it would be really really useful to um, to take a look at uh, the heat of um, 
maybe an Arduino or something. So let's uh, let's turn that on. Let's see, let me make sure I'm putting power in the right way here. And yeah, let's turn it on. Yeah, there we go. So it's not operating, hasn't been operating for very long, but we can we can take a look at it here. Um, now, it can't give visible and IR at the same time because the camera lens is on opposite ends of the, uh, of the iPhone from where the actual IR is. So, so you only get an IR image. Um, but there you can see the, uh, that is the, uh, that's the Nano right there. So the Nano's, the Nano's heating up, okay? And there's a little bitty thing that's getting even hotter right next to it. And if you look there, that's the little the little crystal, right? So the little the little crystal is warming up. So that's that's kind of fun. And then there's something heating up down here. That's the LED. And then we have the uh, you can make out the IR the uh, I, I squared C OLED here. But there's the thing really bit hot down here, right? So that hot thing there is this uh, uh, is the um, preselect uh, the uh, prescaler. Um, so yeah, it's going to be super super handy for uh, for stuff like this. So, like I said, the only downfall is you have to take the uh, you have to take the darn case off. Now I don't know if there's an extension cable for for um, for for the lightning bus or not. Maybe there isn't a little extension cable I can buy. Or a little thing that would jog it out. If anybody knows if there's a little thing that just jogs it out a bit, that would be that would be handy. But uh, uh, you can set it manually. You can you can do uh, brightness and contrast manually. Um, you can uh, set some some uh, points. You can yeah. See, so you can set a point here, P1. So you could like. Uh, Get something exactly under under P1. That you can read off its uh, read off its temperature here. So you can set up you can set up different points and stuff, and or different areas. It'll integrate areas and things. So yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I think it's a good deal uh, for the price point. Uh, things of this number of pixels have been quite expensive, and this one seems to be reasonably priced. So I'll put a link down below if you're interested in one of these things. Um, but yeah, I've uh, I've enjoyed it. It's been it's been fun. There is uh, a little bit of um, you need you don't you need, you don't want to touch this thing. If you put your hand on it, you'll you'll warm it up and you'll and you'll start to see that warm going into the sensor. So don't so don't touch this thing. Just hold the hold the sensor. Um, what else? Yeah, I don't think there's really much else to say about it. It's it's a nice high resolution thermal camera, like one what was it, one twenty by ninety. So, yeah, very nice. So you can see all the individual things on a circuit board. So great for troubleshooting if you have a problem. The thing that gets hot is usually the thing that's going bad, um, that or the thing that's drawing the most the most power. And in this particular case, that one gigahertz speed uh, chip there is. Uh, is hot because it's analog as well. It has analog circuitry in it. And uh, can I feel it with my finger? Mm. Yeah, I guess I can feel it just a tiny bit. But uh, it is that particular chip is running at twenty. Yeah, twenty-seven point eight degrees. So um, yeah, I mean not very warm from from room temp. But uh, in the scale, the see. When I'm looking at this board, oops, let's see if I can tilt this thing right here we go. You can see the scale here is going between 18 and 27. So it has scaled its range to whatever you're taking a, taking a look at here. And um, okay, before we end here, I should have said one thing that uh, you can actually store videos also. So uh, you can go into, into video mode. And um, so I'm recording a video right now. Uh, here's the... Uh, Here's our devices, and uh, over here I'll I'll touch the bench. Ah! I dropped my camera. It's slippery. See, and the uh, my hand uh, my handprint stays my handprint stays behind. So I'll insert this video at the end here.